Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a really important subject and that is picking out a kayak fishing PFD that works for you. And the most important thing I want to emphasize when I'm talking about these different models of PFD today is that you should find a PFD that you want to wear, that makes you want to wear it so that every time you get out on the water in your kayak you put it on like it's second nature, you like wearing it, just as you would always put on your seatbelt when you get into a car, you should always have your PFD on when you go out kayak fishing. Um, you will see in every single one of my kayak fishing videos on YouTube, I always have a PFD on. A personal flotation device prevents death, so always wear one, please. Alright, so full disclosure, I am a Coca Tat uh, pro staff, so I will be showing a couple Coca Tat uh, different Coca-Tat models today, but I also have some other ones that I've been wearing uh, for the past several years or last year, and I just wanted to show you those as well because there are many, many options out there on the market. These are just some of them, but I want to go over four primary features that most people look at when looking at buying their kayak fishing PFDs. Number one is cost. Um, you know, we're not all made out of money, so I totally understand that. Secondly is function. There's lots of different uh, designs and pocket features and other clips and various things that make these different PFDs uh, functional in different ways. Comfort is another major thing and then lastly is aesthetics. Uh, that's going to be more of a personal thing but I will talk a little bit about uh, some of the designs and colors of each of these. So the one that I've been wearing the most more recently is this uh, Kokatat Bahia Tour PFD. Hey there chicken. Um, this retails for about 160 bucks. Uh, what I liked about this uh, design of this Bahia Tour is its simplicity. I don't like lots of stuff on my chest because I'm moving around in the kayak. I like to have free range of motion, not a bunch of pockets and stuff taking up space. Uh, but I do want uh, a strong attachment point for my safety knife just because my safety knife has saved me in the past, has saved my life from drowning. And I really like these lash tabs that allow you to attach these. The lash tabs, like on this Chinook, are these plastic uh, tabs that allow a very secure attachment point for safety knives. I also like the location of the lash tab on this one in the upper left part of the PFD because I cast with my right predominantly. And so that leaves this part of the PFD clean and clear. It has two pockets here. Uh, zipper pockets on both sides with smaller uh, sub pockets on the front for storing additional stuff. Uh, but what I really like about this is it also has a place for your VHF radio if you're off the coast. But I actually end up putting my cell phone in here more often than not. And I can clip that up, keep my cell phone uh, ready and accessible uh, for taking pictures of photo tournaments, uh, for fish tournaments, or if I'm just taking pictures of fish out on the water. It's got high reflection uh, tape on it um, on the front and back and like all the PFDs I'm going to show you today designed for kayak fishing it has this high back design um, these are all, all going to be type 3 uh, Coast Guard approved PFDs uh, so they will keep you afloat but they're not designed to keep your face out of water if you happen to go into the water unconscious uh, the Bahia Tour from Kogatek comes in two colors they call this orange it's not it's red I don't know why they call it orange and then they also have one, uh, it's a mango color on the outside, which is actually very similar to the color on the inside of this PFD. It has a simple uh, clip on the bottom, like most of them, you clip that first, and then you tie in uh, the zipper like that. It does not have mesh back here, it actually has a little bit of padding um, in the area on the lower part of the back and waist. So that actually does a good job of actually keeping me warm in the winter time but it does make it a little bit uh, hot during the summer time uh, when I wear it. So that's the Bahia Tour PFD. Let's look at uh, a different brand. This is the NRS Chinook. I wore the Chinook for many years. I've worn many different uh, iterations of this PFD. Um, this is probably my third generation of the Chinook that I've worn. Uh, now there's another one out. Uh, but what I like about it is they have, it's very thin flotation here. It's, it almost feels like it's not present at all. 
Uh, the, on the Bahia Tour, I feel the flotation that sticks out a little bit further, a little bit more bulky. This is very thin, conforms to the body very nicely. It's very simple laid out. A couple Velcro pockets on the front. One big one there, two small ones here. For putting tools into if you want to do something like that. Makes it easy, or they even have uh, that there. You, you can also clip something else in there if you want to. It has that lash tab up in the upper right hand corner and another Velcro attachment point. There's just lots of storage here, but it's very minimal. I like this PFD for that reason. It conforms to my body shape extremely well. It has a thin mesh on the back, so it's not the solid back uh, like or any padding like on the Kokotet Bahia Tour. It comes in a bunch of different colors. They have it, and now they have it in a, in a red, a, an olive, and gray. And they even have a female version that's just cut a little bit differently for the female body called the Chinook. Um, that comes in a, in a gray with a little bit of blue uh, highlights on it. But because of this mesh back here, it's a little bit uh, easier for breathability. And it also, you get better contact with the chair that you're sitting on. So I really like this uh, PFD, very simple on the inside, just like all the others, a simple clip and zipper here. They retail for about $120, um, just a really solid PFD uh, and very comfortable and will give you a long lifespan. You see this one's really dirty, it's been out on the water for a long time. Okay, so this is the Lure Angler from Old Town. It retails for about $130. It only comes in these drabber colors like gray and olive. Like all the others, it has just a waist clip and then you zipper in from there. And what I like about this one, um, I'll show you is on the inside, but let's look at the, some of the features on the outside. It has two very large pockets on the front, but they're not overly bulky, which is really nice. It has an envelope. Uh, pocket right here so that's it allows you to slide uh, a pair of allows you to slide a pair of pliers in there or you can put a radio in there if you, if you like it's got a couple different clips on it lots of places to, to snap in tools I don't know why uh, a lot of kayak companies or a lot of PFD companies put these little foam uh, fly keepers on there. It doesn't really make much sense. I mean, most of us aren't fly fishermen. The vast majority of kayak fishermen aren't. It's a nice little feature, but it'd be nice of them to include something else that you can attach there, something more useful. Um, like something to hold a tool on there or something like that, rather than these little fly patches. But it is what it is. Like the others, it's got a mesh uh, back here on the lower part, and then the the flotation is up high. It fits very well. It's pretty minimal. I feel like I have a good range of motion in this PFD. I like it a lot for that reason. Not very bulky if you look here. But what's best about this PFD is if you look on the inside, you can see probably even from there, and I'll zoom in, is it has this really unique uh, air comfort system. So it has this padding in here that has these little ridges and bumps on it. and allows airflow to come up underneath and uh, underneath your armpit up underneath here and they also have the same thing on the back as well I was wearing this PFD in our extreme heat here in the Columbia Basin during the summer we get well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and this was hands down the coolest most comfortable PFD when I take my other PFDs off in the summer I got sweat stains all around I was nice and dry underneath there this was really allowing that air to come up underneath and breathe. So if you are fishing in a very hot climate um, and you want to be kept cool, I think that this is probably the best PFD I've found on the market for that. It has the best breathability back here on the uh, on the lower part of the back out of all of these that you'll see. I'll show you today. Uh, really phenomenal in terms of uh, air comfort. So leave it up to a PFD manufacturer from Maine to make a, a, PF, a kayak fishing PFD that keeps you cool. Um, but yeah, they did a really good job on that. Uh, what's also nice about this is on these other ones, 
all of these straps, they flap around everywhere. Um, they can smack you in the face in high wind. Uh, Old Town has incorporated a Velcro system so that it locks in there. You don't have these dangling around. You're not going to catch hooks on these or anything like that. That's a pretty cool little feature. Okay, and lastly we have the Leviathan from Kokatat. Uh, this has the smallest profile on the chest of any of the PFDs I've seen. But in order to compress that, they've made it very bulky right here on the lower part of the chest. Um, which makes it a little bit more challenging for me, especially because I tend to fish very large swim baits uh, all day. And I use a power handle tucked up underneath my arm to retrieve at slow rates. Um, and so because of that, there's a lot of bulk right here. You can feel it sticks out. It also has 14 pockets. I have no idea why you would want to load your kayak PFD down with uh, gear in 14 pockets. But maybe you're just a person who doesn't like to carry a tackle box for some reason. Uh, but because of all these pockets and all that, it creates uh, a lot of bulk in the front of it, which is what I don't like about it. But then again, if you're looking for lots of storage, this is definitely the PFD for you. It doesn't have a, a lash tab, neither did the, uh, the Old Town which is kind of a negative mark for me, but not everybody has such a strong emphasis on carrying a safety knife like I do. I just do because of personal experience. That being said, uh, it comes in a bunch of different colors. It comes in a gray, it comes in an olive, it comes in this high-vis orange. It has uh, mesh back here, which has a little bit of padding incorporated into it. Um, so it does breathe fairly well. Um, and another really nice feature of it is it's got a fleeced lined hand warmers, which that's pretty nice in winter for keeping you toasty. Um, so that is a nice feature about this PFD. It's got a little slot here for tools, and it, this is supposed to be the lash tab. If I put my safety knife here, I'm casting, I'm gonna catch the end of the handle or blade guard, and it simply doesn't work for me because of that location, which is why I like having lash tabs on the upper left. And another thing that I've talked, I talked about one of the reasons I don't like this is because I do tend to cast a lot and I just find myself when I was wearing this PFD, it was catching, my shoulder was catching the edge of the uh, PFD right here. Um, if you're doing a lot of trolling or maybe you have a different casting style, maybe it won't be that big of an effect for you. But overall, I just felt like this PFD didn't work perfectly for me, which is fine. Maybe it works for you. They also just like Old Town put on these little goofy uh, fly tabs on here. I have no idea why. Okay, and that retails for $159. So they're all competitively priced. So no matter what, um, if you have any questions about these PFDs, I'm going to put links to each of these products below. Uh, just let me know. Um, if you have questions about other PFDs that are out there on the market, uh, just give me a shout below. I, can, I might also have some um, experience with those as well. These are just the four I wanted to cover today. Uh, the main thing is, is I just want everybody to get out there on the water and have their PFDs on. Make it uh, something that you enjoy wearing. I mean, all of these are pretty cool looking in their own way. They each have unique different designs. Uh, so just make sure that you wear them when you're out there. It's just critically important to me. We, I just hate seeing stories about uh, kayak anglers that have drowned uh, not, while not wearing their PFDs. It's absolutely a preventable tragedy. All right, until next time, be safe, have fun, live a long life, and catch lots of fish. I'll see you out there in the water. Bye, guys.